again. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. I'm doing some experiments. I'm going to share with you, hopefully. This is a piece of craft-tastic paper. It used to be what I put inside this, this tray that's actually something you pour on. But I wanted to find out if I could scoop my paint off, a thin layer off canvas, and I have a few tricks up my sleeve that I've been thinking about. One is putting enough paint into a pan that I think I don't have it. I need a cover on that to keep it moist. Maybe that'll be okay for the moment. Anyway, so I put black, tricorn black down, and I'm going to do it again. Just a little dollop, and I may want some white and I mean some black in my shovel also. So I'm going to use the True Silver Prism Pour from Color Art. Fairly substantial amount of it. Grab an a used acetate swipe card. I'm going to use some black cell activator and some white. Amsterdam White, Amsterdam Black, Aussie Floatrol. Probably could have used a wider card. Now the reason I use the card instead of the interior of the tray is because I want to be able to pull my paint colors more toward the edge, but so far that's not happening. All right, so I've tried the black twice. Let's try the white. And then we're gonna try and scoop things up and put them down. I have a pre-primed dry 10 by 10 inch canvas. And I'm gonna try the gold and the silver. Why not? The pillow paint is basically just there to spread things around. And I really do wish I had a wider card, but I don't think this is any wider than that one is. No, it's not. So, move that black out of the way. Use the white. This may or may not look like anything when we're done with it. But that's kind of interesting and uh, I do have a playing card instead of a shovel or a scoop, but I kind of like to use both to see what happens. But in any case, I've got to get some more stuff out of my way so I can put this paint uncovered where I can get to it and bring this paint over here. I'm tempted to just put it down without having the box underneath it. Maybe a piece of cardboard would work better. Fortunately, I have a piece of cardboard, and maybe it'll be the right size. It's close enough, and it's a lot lighter than that box. I call it a box because I have no better name for it. All right, I don't need the spatula right now, and I do want to try my scoop. So I'm going to take a little bit of paint, not an, insub not an insubstantial amount, a little puddle of paint. This is all to try and keep the cells. I have no idea if it's going to work at all.
All right, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I should have used the black, the black on a back, back, black rack, background. Blah, blah, blah. That makes a lot more sense. So maybe I can still do something about that. I will try and use recycle my pillow paint. There's some black. We'll try the black next. I'm going to grab, where'd my playing card go? There it is, right in front of me. I'm going to grab some black on my playing card. So my basic premise is that I'm trying to get most of the cells to come off the card, which doesn't seem to be really working very well at all. But I am going to grab a Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula and continue on using what I've got. Just to scrape it right off. The black is definitely better as far as camouflaging what I've got. This could still be kind of something interesting, I guess. wipe those off. Now it's time to try the shovel, I'm thinking. Shovel might work better of all because it's just about volume. Try and let it flow out naturally. I don't think I grabbed as much as I probably could have. I'll let that tip down for a minute so I can try and dump some of the cells out. It requires a little bit of patience. Why I got rid of that Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, I don't know. I want it again. Well, it was a little clumsy, but it was still effective to a point. And I think if it were on a damp background, it would it would it will move. So I'm going to try I'm going to try it with this, just the silver without anything in the background. Or scooping anything up first is what I meant to say. Let's put it down in a different direction. See how that works. As long as you get a little bit started, it works. Let's just use up what we've got. Oh, I've got some black and white cells. I want those. I probably can't have them. Let's do a little dribble. So this time I'm not touching the canvas. That time I did. Let's just grab whatever we can grab now. I've got silver and gold. I love the, all the variations on the patterns. Do I have enough to do something else? I kind of do.
I'm quiet because I'm so focused. I'm probably going to have to fill in those little spaces. I might not want to actually. I kind of like them with the gaps there. What have I got left? I can scrape up most everything that's left on here with my my spatula. My OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula that I said I didn't need. Let's do a little bit here. And a little bit there. Use up the rest of my paint if I can. I want to grab my spatula so bad. And it's probably right close to hand. Hope my head isn't in the way the whole time. Grab my spatula, my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula. See what else I might want to sneak in. Well, it's a good what do they call it? It's a good study. Kind of looks like landscape to me, anyway. And it's kind of cute, too. Let me see what happens when we scrape up this paint. Of course, I might want to put it down someplace. I'm not sure there is a place to put it, although I do have a dish, a scrape dish. Because this paper is not inexpensive. I'm thinking about pouring on it, not just doing trials. I see no reason. Paint is expensive. No matter what you're buying, even house paint is, is, is expensive. So making it go as far, as far as possible is definitely my, my idea of a good time. As well as getting results, of course. I could use all that. I'm definitely going to use what's in, my, what's in my dish. Do something with it. That's going in the bucket. I know I can rinse that off and use it again. And I got some fairly decent patterns. If I wanted to use them, I could, but I don't think so. I kind of want to move that down to the edge. Nothing really goes over. Well, that one went over, but now you could do anything you wanted in, in between. You could dot. Dotting can be fun. Gold dots, silver dots, colored dots. Let's let's zoom in. I think there might be a little shimmer in there. I'll probably hit it with a torch really fast. I'm not sure which is the best way. I kind of like it. Oh yeah, I definitely like it in the vertical. That's cool. It's kind of striking. I like it. Thank you for joining me. I have over 29 lists of 100 videos each. Come on back. Let's do a little shimmer test. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my experiments. This is going to be neat. I bet it dries fine. I don't think that I have to tip it because the paint right now is the same thickness it would be as if it were on a pillow after you spun it out. I think these two tools can go in the bucket so the paint doesn't dry on them. I was thinking about doing a gold and silver weedy garden in any case. So this is as close as I needed to be to that. I'm going to put it back the way it should be. All right. 
Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sharing and watching longer. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link at no added cost to you. I really appreciate that. And when you find my two books and you buy them, yeah, I really appreciate that too. They are the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube. If you leave me a comment, I'll get back to you. If you have a question, I'll do my best to answer it. Um, on my link tree, you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. You can find a 20% off color coupon code and a 10% off pixel paint designs code underneath the video under show more very close to the link tree. Uh, on the link tree also you can find Society6 and The Gallerist and under the video you're going to find Spring Clothing. On the link tree again you'll find Pinterest, excuse me, Pixels.com and Fine Art America and all those places I can have my designs reproduced as uh, designs on drink containers and yoga mats and baby onesies and t-shirts and towels and you name it, it's probably there. And if you want something there, let me know. I give lessons to the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork, so if you'd like to contact me, please use my email address. It's E-A-S-P-B, and the word gallery spelled out, at gmail.com. I'll see you guys in on. I love you much. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Look for my community board for tomorrow's video is uh, going to post probably at 10, 15 a.m., unless I've changed to three or four days a week instead of seven days a week, which I'm still posting at right now. Um... I think I've said just about everything I can remember to say, so you'll see what I missed in another video. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. Bye for now. Priscilla out.